Hello and welcome back to our inventory system series. Previously we worked on an action menu where we worked on the drop one and drop all buttons and allow us to return items back to the world. However, there was one button we hadn't done any work on yet and that was a use item button. So in this episode we're going to work on the use item button to allow us to consume items and get effects from those items. So let's get started. So we already set up our action menu to be able to drop these items but this is when we want to drop it and put it into the actual world with consumption it's very much the same except for the fact of that dropping action so what we can do is go into our event um, our um, inventory component yeah and we're going to go into our functions add a new function here called consume item okay and in there we need to know which item we want to consume and that would be an index oh, oh well. uh, get there in the end, there you go and this would be index and we'll take our content array here to find the actual item we want to consume so we're going to do get a copy of that index now if we just split this open We want to promote both of these two local variables. Promote local variable, local item ID, and promote this one to local variable, local quantity, and put that in there. We then are going to do the same sort of thing we did with our removal here. So do a sequence and then zero we do the actual work and then then one we do the update so on then zero we want to call that remove function so let's do remove and we do server remove we choose server remove there plug in then one oh, then zero sorry and the index will be the same index that we're using for this so just type drag out index uh, but this is going to have is consumed be ticked okay and then we want to make a server function that will actually do the consumption here because the way this consumption works is that you're spawning in an effect and that effect is then tied to the item and that effect will then change what happens. So whether they heal them, damage them, equip an item, whatever it may be, you can design whatever you want it to do on that effect. So we go over to our event graph. And in here, I'm gonna add another function here called customer event. And we'll call it server consume item. And this thing needs to know which item we're consuming. So let's drag out a item ID. And this guy will be uh, running on a uh, server. So we change replicates here to server. Okay, um, so for this, we're going to get item ID data. So drag out our get item, uh, get item data, sorry. And we're going to break that open. Now, currently, we don't have an effect class, we only have the item class itself. So let's go ahead and create our item effect uh, classes. So we go to items, make a new folder here for effects. And we'll go in there and create a parent class for this. So we'll go actor, item, effect. Yeah. And we're now we're going to change our data struct here to include that effect. Okay, so let's go add variable and call it item effect and that's going to be the type of the class that we just made so item effect class reference do it again you not be doing it item effect class reference get there in the end <laughs> effect class reference there we go um so now if i go to my item data here i can change what item effect this is going to have so apple here we can pick one from the list, we've only got one in the moment, but you can pick that and it will now appear here. 
So we can go back to our inventory system and you'll see item effect there. I'm going to drag that out and do spawn actor from class. And we want to just put it in our drop location. So right click, split that and just drag in get drop location. Okay, and that is it. So now you just design what that consumption effect is going to be. So for example, we're going to items here and effects and create a child of this. This could be uh, effect heal player. Okay. And in here, you just design the code for that. So play, get player character, but then do cast player character, change the health, whatever you want to do, you can just do it all here. And that means this will now spawn it into the world here. So this is a heal player. So let's go to my item data. Make that effect heal player. Save that. But to test that working, rather than go through a whole health system, which I don't have in my game here, but obviously you should do. Um, in my begin play, I'm just going to do a print string saying heals player. Compile and save that. So I believe that is everything. Um, our action menu here is going to consume with the server remove. Um, that's going to then remove from inventory. Oh wait, no, sorry, wrong. Uh, go back, go back, go back. Action menu on on use here. That's where I missed that. So on the action menu, rather than do our uh, remove, remove, we're going to take from our inventory here and do consume. Uh, consume item, not a server one, a regular one. Plug that in like so. Okay, so let's test that out. Go to my scene. Well, I'll, I'll show you the other two, the other side as well. Hold on, let's just make this different size. Okay, so on my server view here, we can pick up our apples, so to speak, here, and I can go out. I get drop one. And we should see our item replicate. Oh, we don't. Oh, uh, that might be because I forgot to turn on replication. Oh, no, it's there. It's there. It's there. Cool. Um, that means I can pick it up as a client like that. And the client here can then consume this too. So right click use and they have now consumed it. Then it's gone. Now, if I go to the server here, now this one. I didn't, I forgot to do. Uh, if I just use this one uh, and then use it again, you'll see it's disappearing. Not seeing any print strings happening. That's because I forgot to tell it to replicate. So if I go to my item effect here and tell it to replicates, that will now be replicated across when the player spawns it into the scene. So let's try that again. Pick up the apples. Right click, use. Uh, why is it not print string in? Have a look at that. So I found the issue. Uh, you just go back into our inventory component. And I forgot to, on the consume item event here, to add in our server call to actually consume the item. So I made the function, I just didn't call it. That was the issue I had. So let's just put that in to like item ID there. And also I'm going to tell this one then one here to do that MC update here. MC update. So everyone's screens get updated there. Okay, so now let's push play and see if that's working. Got some apples. And use. And you'll see here, got healed player, healed player, and so forth. Okay. And that's all working. Perfect. And there we have it. We've now got our use and consume functions in our games. Next, we're going to start work on our gamepad functionality. So you can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can catch all my videos early from just $1 a month. I also thank you to all my YouTube supporters for the continued support and also my Patreon members for the continued donations. Thank you again so, so much. If you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.